All right, it's time to get down to business. We're gonna do some calculus today. Um, the first, you know, major topic, and this is actually the basic topic which all of calculus at some level boils down to, um, be it the derivative or even other, other things from calculus. The common notion behind all of that is limits. All right, so uh, we're gonna talk about limits. Uh, limits are a, a very basic thing and, and actually pretty intuitive. Not so hard to figure out um, the limits of, of various things. Actually, I thought actually before we do that, I want to talk just a little bit about functions in general. So functions and limits is really what I want to go over um, this time. Uh, hopefully, what I say about functions is going to be mostly review. Mostly, I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page about how we're going to write things, how we're going to, what kind of language we use, how we're going to talk about certain things. Okay, um, so... You know, let's talk about uh, functions, right? Functions, typically you either have an equation for them or you look at a graph. Um, today, most of what I want to do is going to be about graphs. So there. All right, this is my function f of x. I'm not going to give you an equation for this. I just made up the curve. It doesn't uh, necessarily obey any kind of equation. All right. Uh, typical things that you would want to say about this graph, something like, for example, in this case, f of 2. What does f of 2 mean? It means, what is the y value that you see when you look on the graph where x equals 2? So you go, all right, x equal 2, you go over here, 1, 2, that's x equal 2. The y value there is 0. Okay, so that's what I mean when I say f of 2 equals 0. This is what I meant by, I hope this is stuff that everybody already knows, so we're just going to... Make sure we're all on the same page here. Okay, what uh, what else can we say? Uh, f of, what about f of 3? That would mean you go at x equal 3 and look at the y value there. I tried to make it so that f of 3 lines up here. So f of 3 equals 1. Um, how about f of 0? That means you look at x equals 0 and find the y value there. That would be 2, all right, etc. Okay? That's all I'm saying, right? Um, you know, you can do uh, any of those points. I tried to make it line up, all right? So that's what f of, you know, F of whatever means. Pretty straightforward, okay. Alright, that, that picture that I just had was a nice sort of uh, nice looking graph. Sometimes the graphs can be a little bit weirder. Like sometimes you can see uh, sort of jumpy, jumpy jumps in your graph, right? So I'm, I'm referring to something like, let's say you have a function that kind of goes like this, but then at this point something weird happens and it just suddenly jumps up there and becomes this. Let's say this is f of x, all right? Typically when you have a uh, function which is given by an equation, most equations that you write down don't have this kind of jumpy behavior, but um, there are lots of the times when you want to use functions which uh, behave in this way, all right? One thing that you'll see here, actually I'm, I haven't been very specific, what exactly is f of 2 in this case? What's the y value when x equals 2? Well, the answer would be, well, I don't know actually, is it that or that? Is it the 1? or the two. And the way to be specific about that on our graphs, when we draw these pictures, I'm usually going to draw something like this. I draw sort of a fat circle here and an empty circle here. That means f of 2 is 1 rather than up here which is 2. So the fat circle, the empty circle, that means you do this one here, not here. Right? The empty circle means the value is not there. It is here. All right? that's, so that's what this full circle, empty circle means. Sounds like the kids at home. All right, I'm back. You can see my, uh, my daughter, Mary, is also an expert in the backwards writing. Sometimes you'll see two empty circles. That means the value is neither of those places. Maybe it's like this, right? Maybe it's uh, something like this, okay? In that case, where's the value? Not there, not there, it's down here. So in that case, the, uh, the y value would be zero, right? f of two equals zero, okay? Sometimes you'll see no value at all. Uh, here's one of those. Maybe it's just all empty circles, right? Maybe it's like one of these, one of these, and nothing else. Let's say this is uh, x equal 2 again, right? In this case, you would say f of 2 does not exist. Because there is no y value 
where x is 2. All you see is a bunch of empty va you know, locations with no values, right? And there is no filled in value anywhere. So f of 2 does not exist. Usually I'm going to write this f of 2 dne does not exist is what that stands for. All right? So the empty circle, the filled in circle. It can be, uh, you know, it's not really that confusing. Just I just want to make sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. All right, let's talk about limits now, okay? So how do you find the actual function value? You just look on the curve where the x value is, what's the y value, okay? Um, a conceptually similar, but not exactly the same question is about limits, okay? Uh, limits, we're gonna write, um, you know, the idea of a limit, uh, the limit is the limit of a function is where the y values approach as we get close to a particular x value. That's what I want to say here, all right? What's the difference between this and what I was just talking about? Well, I was what I was just talking about is what is actually the value at a particular point, all right? And this sounds similar, but it's not exactly the same. This is what do the values get close to as you get close to a particular point? Not what is the value right at the point, but what are the values as you get close to that point, okay? Should sound almost the same, but it's not quite. Um, you know, usually on an ordinary looking picture, this thing, uh, these values actually are the same as what I was just talking about. Let's, let's for instance, look at this one. What is f of negative one? The answer is, uh, you look at the x value, the y value is 2, all right? I could also ask you, what are the y values getting close to when the x values are getting close to negative 1? That would mean, if I look at x values like in this, in this region here, where are the y values? And the answer is, they are still around 2, right? When the x values are near negative 1, the y values are near 2, okay? The way you write that is like this, lim x goes to minus 1, f of x equals also 2, okay? This, what this means, and we say the limit as x approaches minus 1 of f of x equal 2. And what that means is when the x values are close to negative 1, the y values are close to 2, which is also true, all right? Lest you think that these two uh, statements are the same, they're actually not the same as each other, although they are in the case of this graph here. Here's an example where the limit is not the same as the actual value of the function. This can happen when you have some kind of a jumpity jump. Okay, what about, here's an example, where the two things are actually kind of different. Um, let's consider something like this, say like that, but then it also has a point. Filled in down here, okay, empty circle up here, filled in circle down here. This is y equals 1 up there, all right? Uh, let's talk again about what is f of, I'm considering this point here as the, this is kind of the interesting point, it's the point where some weird, weird business is going on, right? What is f of negative 1? We, uh, maybe I'll make this, this a little fatter than the, than 1's. Um, what is f of negative 1 here? That means when you look at x equal negative 1, what's the y value? And the answer is, the y value is down here, negative 2. Right? I hope that makes us a lot of sense. Okay. What about the limit though? Here you'll see the limit is actually not equal to negative 2. Limit as x approaches negative 1, f of x. What is that? What that means is when the x is nearby this point, what is the y close to? Well, you know, when the x is actually straight up at this point, you use the filled in dot, all right? But all the nearby points are going to use the curve because that's what the function, you know, the points on the curve describe where the function is going. So as you approach this point x here, you follow the points along the curve and you get this y value, right? All the points, if you look along the curve, all the points nearby have y value 2, okay? Or at least close to 2, right? So the answer here is 2, all right? Basically, if you want to boil it down to some sort of slogan, I, um, I'm not big on, you know, cute, cutesy little slogans in mathematics. I think it's always better to actually, like, understand what you're talking about rather than memorizing some sort of a... Uh, uh, cutesy thing, but one uh, convenient way to think about this, typically, you know, if you want to do actually f of whatever, you look at the point, 
So up here, f of negative 1, you actually look at this specific point and you choose the filled in dot or the empty dot, or if there's no dots like this, you just look at the curve, all right? Uh, whereas, if you are looking at the limit as x goes to somewhere of f of x, all right, for this one, you look along the curve, all right? That's what we did up here in the limit. Instead of looking straight up at this point, you look at the nearby points, which is to say you look along, as you go along the curve, where does the y values go? And in that case, the y values go to 2, positive 2, up here rather than down there. All right? It's only at this particular point that you get that value down there. All the other ones, though, get their values up here. All right, I hope that makes uh, some kind of sense. Not really a, um, uh, a, not a super, you know, mysterious idea here, okay? Uh, sometimes the limits can not exist. Let's try one like that. Okay, check this out. Sometimes the limit just straight up doesn't exist. How about, um, here's a function. Looks like, um, you know, maybe like this. This is the function y equals 1 over x, right? It has a weird looking graph like that. Um, what about, what is limit as x goes to 0 of uh, this function here, f of x? Uh, what is it? Well, that means, okay, uh, you try to look at x equals 0. Actually, there is no value of this function at x equals 0. So actually, you can say f of 0 straight up does not exist, right? There is no such thing as f of 0 because when x is 0, there is no y value along this, uh, where this uh, x value is because uh, these are, you know, these are asymptotically approaching, but they never actually reach the uh, y-axis. Okay, but what about this, though? As the x approaches 0, that means when I look at the nearby points, what do they actually uh, what do the y values actually approach? And the answer is, again, there is no y value that these curves actually are approaching, all right? In fact, this one is like going down, you could say, to negative infinity. This one's going up to positive infinity. They definitely are not actually approaching any coherent value when you get close to uh, x equals 0. So, also, the limit as x goes to 0, f of x, does not exist, all right? That's because there is no y value that the curve is not is there's a double negative there. Um, it's because the curve isn't approaching anything. By which I mean it's not approaching any specific y value. All right, you might say the curve is approaching infinity from this way and negative infinity from this way, but whatever, uh, infinity doesn't count as an actual y value, right? That's what this answer should be. If it's going to exist, it's a number, okay? And infinity is not a number. I hope. Uh, I hope your parents told you that um, infinity is not uh, a number. It is a thing, it's just not a number. Okay, so the curve isn't approaching any uh, specific y value. That's why you say the limit does not exist. All right. Uh, this can also happen in this one. The curve is sort of going out to infinity or whatever. It can happen even if that's not the case. So here's another example where the limit of something or other does not exist. Something like... Uh, if I have, you know, one of, one of these guys, right? Let's see, here's one, two right there. What is the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x this time? Well, what do you do? You look along the curve and you ask yourself, what is the y value that this curve is approaching? Um, actually, there's kind of two different parts of the curve, and those two parts approach two different values, right? This side the, the uh, values are approaching the y equals 1, this curve, whereas this curve, the values are approaching y equals 2. In any case, in that situation, you say the limit does not exist. That's because the curve is not approaching any single y value. In a sense, you could say the curve is approaching both of these values. We, don't, we just don't want to get into that. So we just say, if you ask me about the limit, I say the limit does not exist. All right? Actually, maybe we do want to get into that. There's a more specific thing that you can say here. There is such a thing as, the, the um, these are sometimes referred to as the one-sided limits. The limit, uh, and it is true that there is sort of a limit if you only look on this side, the limit will be one, right? It approaches one. And there's a limit if you only look on this side. And the way we write those is this. So the limit as x approaches two with a little plus here. This means the limit as x approaches two from the right. The plus meaning the this side, because this is the positive side and this is the negative side of the graph, all right? This is the limit 
as x approaches, this is how you read this, approaches 2 from the right, it means you look along the curve but from this direction. You don't care about this side. You look along the curve from this side. And what do you get? You get this y value, which is 2. All right? And this is different from the curve from the left. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the left, that's what this minus means, would be 1. All right? So if I ask you the limit overall, there is no limit overall because it's sort of two different things here. But if you want to be more specific, you can say the limit from the right is 2, limit from the left is 1. All right.